A whopping 120 billion euros each year succumbs to corruption in the European Union's member states. The figure compares to the bloc's entire annual budget. EC Commissioner Cecilia Malmström says the extent of the problem is breathtaking. We cross live now to RT's Europe correspondent Peter Oliver. Well, Peter, who comes out badly in the study? Hello. Well, everybody comes out of this looking a little bit um, shifty. What we have seen, though, is that the EU Commission, who put forward this report, uh, referring to corruption within the European Union as breathtaking. Now, upwards of 120 billion euros a year may have been done in, in uh, backhanded deals. Um, over half of the people in the European Union, half of the, over half of those who were surveyed, have said that um, they think that corruption within the Union was growing. Now, what has raised a few eyebrows and is sure to uh, garner a few column inches is just who's put forward this study. Now, the EU Commission are an unelected body. They're also the body that um, has been accused of putting forward some of the more ridiculous laws and rules and regulations inside the European Union that always make a few headlines whenever they do. Um, but they also haven't. They also haven't looked into EU institutions, and the fact that they've declined to do that may uh, well. Regard uh, may warrant further investigation into seeing just uh, what it would have been if it had been if they had been looked into as well. But from what we have, the 41 page report it says that 76 percent of people who are surveyed within the European, in the European Union said that corruption was widespread. 26% of those said that they had been directly affected by corruption. And 67% of those were concerned about where political financing was coming from, people putting in money to, to pay for campaigns. Of course, we've got a big election coming up here this year in the EU. 23% um, only 23% only thought that the um, governments in the European Union were effective in tackling corruption, and 73% said that the, the uh, bribery for public services was the best way to go about achieving that. So it all doesn't really make very good uh, reading for the European Union. But um, as I say, this, this is what's been put forward by the EU Commission looking into the, the current state of um, the, the grey market, if you will, here in the EU. Peter Oliver with the latest there on corruption in the EU. Thank you very much.